Hey there, Kuro here. Let's talk Shokei Shoujo episode 9. Well, this episode was great. Just a bit of humor, lots of action. All the characters are getting their time to shine. Meanwhile, the story keeps going. They don't pause or aside whatever and then keep with the story. It's all connected and for me at least, very well done. So we have them at the party. This one is one of the funny parts. Akari being like a kid on Red Bull and then Meno telling her she should dial it down a bit. She's just happy she's been like Meno for a little while, at least in appearance. Then we have Meno sneaking out of the party to do some digging and she encounters Ashuna. She tries to talk her way out, but well, Ashuna, you know, and they get to it. The part where Meno hides her face, that was nice. They have a good fight. I like the part when Ashuna uses the fire spell and Meno the wind one and she blows the fire onto her. She gets her hair a little fiery. Then when she controls the knife, then the coin that Ashuna thinks is gonna be a big one and it's the bubbles and here she gets cut and that was big. I don't know if she could have done a bigger injury. Maybe yes. I mean, Ashuna says it. It's been a long time since someone takes it easy on me. I think it was that what she said. And Ashuna now is going with a serious attack with fire, but Meno trick her with the fake knife and again with the wind spell and makes her fire spell go boom. <laughs> so from the beginning, Meno had control over the situation, not because she is super powerful, but with ingenuity, tricks, and knowing where her strengths are, that's kind of refreshing. Many anime characters just power up or they don't even need to, they just win it. So go Meno. We also have Momo. She was walking up to this guy. He had no chance. He gets kicked in the face. Then inside is, for me, one of the other funny parts. So don't hate me on this. Momo bashing this other guy's face on the ground. Dude, just tell her what she wants to know. And the other woman with the gun, you just saw what she did to the guy. So you better talk. So Momo, always nice when she's on screen. She investigates the place, finds the Iron Maiden with the kid inside. Of course, she wants to help her, but it's a trap. And she reacts pretty fast. Nice with the barrier, but she still got injured with the poison steak. She'll be fine. She got lucky. And she's also strong, so Meno just needs to give her lots of pats and she'll recover. And then we also have Akari's side. She got her memories activated again. Strange things keep happening, things that she hasn't lived yet in another loop. So time is changing and as we see in the end, she's involving herself into it. That's nice that she has a play in what's gonna happen and is not just an observer. We also got some insight on the church woman. I don't remember the name now. She turned out to be less shady than I imagined. She's nice. She did new Flair and Meno from before, but now she's been a good ally. And well, like I said from the start, pretty good episode. I really hope it all ends well. Don't mean like all happy, but well in the sense that they keep with the quality of both the anime and the story. It really makes me want to pick up the novels. So that's it. Thank you for watching. If you like the video, leave a like, a comment if you want, and see you in the next one.